on all you people welcome back to the channel guys well as i said before it is hunting season we are in full hunting mode right now we are going for hogs we're going for whitetail it is just a plethora of animals out here that we're going for this year it is absolutely insane i got two of my really good buddies awesome ian hunting with me this year they both want to fill tag they both just got their hunting license it is going to be great uh right now we're out here checking the game cameras here's an old school old school wild innovation game camera i got like six seven years ago and we're over here looking at this uh, feeder right here. Now here recently, this spot has gotten a whole lot of attention and none of my cameras uh, do video anymore because they're so old, the uh, the video just looks really blurry. So I went out and I uh, didn't buy anything like super expensive. I wanted to, trust me, I did, but my bank account said no. So I went out and got another wild game innovation. This is the uh, Terra. Extreme lights out, 60 foot visible, uh, 0.8 second trigger, 18 megapixels, and, and y'all, it does 720 video, which is the main reason why I wanted it. It was uh, $45 at Walmart after the SD card and battery is like 66 bucks all in all, which isn't bad for a game camera that does video. So we are gonna test this bad boy out and see how the video quality is. I mean, it's 720, so you can only really expect so much, but it would really help that way I know like which way these animals are going, which way their trails are. Cause right here, if you look, I mean, there's an obvious trail, you know, right here, duh. And that leads all the way to the back of some other, got, uh, our neighbor's property back there. But if you also look down here, I know I've never really shown y'all down there, but that is a full creek right back here. You can kind of see where the dirt is a little bit, but yeah, that's a full creek back there. So this is a really popular spot for uh, the creek, the water, and it travels through uh, other people's properties all back here. So that's another really big reason this is a big hot spot. Uh, we were out here last year. This is where I saw Loki on the camera for like two hours, just bedded down right here in front of this tree. So it's a hot spot. It really, really is. So I wanted to dedicate a little bit more time and uh, knowledge to this spot. That's why uh, we also got some snares in the back. I don't know if you can see them, but they're around here because the hogs have been absolutely everywhere back here. We have got them on camera out here for sure. I think there's a pack of like 10 of them now. But yeah, we got the corn all strode out. We got the feeder filled up. We got the snares in the back. Now I'm about to put another awesome camera right here just to get the video quality. That way I can know if the hogs are coming from that direction or if they're coming from the creek or if they're coming from that property back there. Just, just a general knowledge of where these animals are coming from and where they're going is gonna help with our hunting season this year a lot. So that's why I think it was a really good investment to get this game camera. So I'm gonna set up right here next to this one because I don't know another real good spot that's going to have a re really good view like this. Uh, all these trees right here are pretty small. So, yeah. I mean, I guess I could put it over there and have it facing this way. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's look at that. Ugh, now there's too much stuff in the way, though. It's going to cause issue. Hmm. I don't know. I'll figure something out. And I'll uh, update y'all when I'm done putting it up. I'm telling y'all, this place is loaded. If you give it a chance, like there is a whole lot of animals out here. Like, I don't know how many bucks we got on camera. I don't know how many hogs, like, like 10. You know, we got possums, raccoons. Like, there's just so much life out here this year. It is absolutely insane. And, you know, with all the crazy weather we've had lately with the droughts and no rain, and then we had a whole bunch of rain, and then we had that freeze two years ago, you know, there's really just no telling what's still hanging around. And it just makes me so happy to know that there is still a whole bunch of life out here in these 15 acres that we have. It is just really, really nice to know that. Really good. And we do. We work hard to uh, keep our animals good out here. We feed them corn. We have mineral blocks and everything that we put out for them, trying to keep them healthy. Really cool though. Every time I come out here, I either hear uh, racks clacking or I hear grunting. Every time. Every time. I love it. Love being a country boy. Love living in the country even better. People in the city would never get to experience this ever, ever, ever. All right, sun's starting to come out a little bit, but anyway, this is where I end up putting the Terra, right here. Uh, it's on off now. I'm gonna turn it on to custom. I already set everything in. It's on video mode. So we are good to go. It should start just doing video. So I'm gonna get out of the way. 
so it doesn't get me on video. But, yep, we are set up and good to go right there. I know it looks pretty stupid having two cameras on top of each other, but one does video, one does photo. You know, we'll see. If it ends up being a great camera and working really good, we'll move it down to the clearing so I can see uh, where all the big bucks are going. But I got something for that. I finally got my spy, my spy point working again. Had a little uh, credit card issue. It just stopped taking my credit card for some reason. But called customer care, got pretty quick, got it resolved. So shout out to spy point for having good customer care that took care of it pretty quick. So I'm about to run that bad boy back out there to the clearing, which is going to be a long walk. But I haven't been out there in about two weeks, so hopefully it looks pretty good. Hopefully, you know, deer are coming back because I think when we caught that raccoon out there, it made some noise, so they kind of lingered away. But I'm about to walk out there, and I'm going to put you all up in the camera bag so I don't have to hold you. Ah, long walk. All right, y'all, we have made it out to the clearing. Here we are. I don't know if you can see behind me. Yep, the clearing. We got our feeder right here. Now this has been the spot where I've been putting the trail camera at, the cellular game camera, because this is a major trail from that big field over there, which is like, I think it's like 60 something acres of farm field. And there's not even a, a building over there, it's just farm field. Uh, the farmer doesn't even live over there. He lives like a county over, it's insane. But yeah, it's a free field, and all the deer that we have ever seen come from that big field. So I've always had the cell gaming camera right here, along with some uh, deer stick right there for the deer. Uh, this stuff, the gold estrus, you know, the gold. But I think I've done too much appearance here, if that makes any sense. Like, I've, I've got my scent here too much, so I'm thinking about moving down. I thought I saw movement, sorry. So I'm going to move down the field, the clearing a little bit. And there's another big clearing like this, but separating the fields where they can just walk right through. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna set up the cellular game camera down there. Oh, there's so much action out here today. It's insane. The squirrels are just going crazy. And I hear them going through the trees and the grass. I keep thinking it's a big old buck gonna walk out, man. That's what type of mood I'm in. <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, I think this spot has just got a little too much attention here lately. So I'm gonna move down and uh, set it up down there. But first, I'm gonna do a little bit of this and try not to get it all over me. Here, let me turn you around so you can see. stuff is so stinky. Oh, I got it all over my hand. It dripped on my freaking camera backpack. Great. Just great. Great, great, great. But anyway, we are heading down the trail a little bit. Like I said, uh, I'm going to set up the spy point camera. And may I also say, yet again, major game changer. Saves you from having to walk all the way out here like I am right now. The only reason I'm having to do this is because I had a little issue with the camera. But got it all fixed. It's all sorted out now. So we're gonna walk all the way down here. We need to get the brush hog out here bad, but I don't want to scare off the deer. All right, y'all. We are here at the other clearing. Let's take a look at that. It's like a perfect gateway through right here. It perfectly connects one field to the other field. And look, if you can look down there, you can actually see your feeder, a little black dot. So it's actually a perfect little spot. Ooh. Alrighty guys, so we made it to the other clearing. Here it is. As you can see, it is like a perfect, like this walkway to the other clear field across. So it is perfect for right here. You can see up the hill. If you look behind me, you can see down the hill. There should be a little black dot down there. It'll focus. Yeah, there it is, see the feeder? Yep, that's the feeder. 
So we're kind of like right here in the middle. Uh, if you go up the hill where it ends, it goes. it's like a straight shot down to the fence to access the other field. So I have a really good uh, feeling about this. Uh, probably just going to set the camera up right here on this tree. Right here next, yeah, right here on this tree. It's uh, right here next to the clearing itself. So I think it being right here, I'd have all this view of everything coming and going down the down the hill, up the hill, passing through right here. Might need to push this tree down a little bit. But, ooh, look at that. Tree has mud scrapes on it. Y'all see that? Means hogs. Been pra passing through here, scraping on it. So probably when they're coming through this fence right here. Look, you can even see right here on the fence. Look, let me get y'all to focus. focus come on there it is see look at that mud it's mud on the fence so hogs been passing through here big time big time so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and set up the camera i really wish i could set some snares right here because i guarantee i catch a hog right here passing through under that fence but it's deer season i do not want to end up catching a deer that would be catastrophic on my end and I just do not want to do it I keep looking up that hill expecting to see a deer <laughs> that's why I keep looking but yeah anyway I'm gonna set up this camera I'm gonna dozy on out of here I'm gonna spray some more of this doe and estrus stuff that is still on my hand I'm gonna have to take a shower when I get home this stuff stinks to high heaven it is so nasty I keep looking just it's gonna happen <laughs> it's gonna happen but yeah anyway I'm gonna set it up leave it and we're just going to see what ends up coming through this side instead of down there. So, fingers crossed. Another thing that I absolutely love that uh, most cameras don't do, except cellular game cameras, is that uh, after you set up your camera, see we're at 90% bars right here. So we have pretty good signal out here, 90%. Is you can go in your settings, and um, I turn the cell off when I'm not using it. That way I'm not, you know, using all my... Uh, my photos, since, well, I mean, I have unlimited, but you know, you don't want to use all your photos. So all you gotta do is come to over here, turn the cellular back on after you're done setting it up. Go up here, press save, and change will be applied. Next communication, which is uh, instantly, so it is now on and ready to go. That is pretty cool. That's one thing I really like about these spy point cameras is you can turn them off, turn them on. You know, there's so, there's so many things you can do with them. It's pretty freaking cool. <laughs> So that's, a, that's another thing I really like about Spy Point cameras is their app. As you can turn the cell on and off like that, you can, uh, you can mark the photos, you can pick favorites, you know, you can do uh, like image tracking, like it'll tell you if it's a buck, if it's a hog, it'll, it'll do all that. It's pretty freaking cool. It's another major trail right there. Oh well, that's for another day. <laughs> But yeah, Spy Point, definitely awesome. If y'all live in the East Texas area, y'all should have really good service on those things, and I highly recommend them. They're under $100, so you can't go wrong. The only downfall of them, and I mean like the only downfall, is they don't do video as well. <laughs> only downfall. Maybe one day. I know the Flex is supposed to have it, but it says uh, charges may vary in the app so I'm pretty sure that means you have to pay for the fo I mean the videos which is stupid 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 all right so there's where I'm gonna put my game camera right there it is right here next to the clearing and it's overlooking this clearing right here so we're gonna get all this view right here and probably about right there so all this view of them going up the trail or down the trail I will be able to get to catch because down there next to the feeder, I think is just a little too far. I mean, I mean, a little too close to the end of the trail for them. And they love being like right up here on this hill. So, nah, let me turn you around. So I put my camera up, it's right there. Y'all can see it. And I put a whole bunch of that deer pee, deer estrus all over here. Yeah. So that's gonna draw in the big boys. Hopefully they come through this clearing right here behind me walk on up sniff it and get their picture taken that would be great i would love that very very much <sighs> oh, 
I'm seeing deer ghost guys. I keep looking, I keep swear, I keep seeing movement, but it's not. I'm just, I'm in that zone right now, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get my backpack. I'm gonna sco uh, dozy on out of here. And uh, I gotta help my buddy Aaron with uh, his lease. Gotta put some more corn in buckets and uh, all that fun jazz like I do out here for you guys. But uh, really hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I'll keep you updated on the uh, new game camera and what we catch over here on this side. But I really hope you enjoyed the video, guys. As always, please make sure to like and subscribe. It is hunting season, so if y'all like seeing the hunting stuff, I'll make sure to do more hunting stuff for y'all. I can do product reviews, uh, tips and tricks. Uh, I'll even try to get more than one deer this year. And I'll have my two buddies hunting with me too, so I'll get those hunts on video. So hopefully bring y'all some more hunting stuff since I've been lacking on my fishing here lately. <laughs> Need to make up for that. So y'all stay tuned because i uh, got some more good stuff coming down the pipeline for y'all. So be ready. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll catch y'all on the next one. Y'all keep it real. Peace. y'all so here i was walking back from the clearing that's back there behind me and <laughs> i see this this is absolutely insane so most for most of y'all that know hogs uh hogs will get really muddy to cool themselves off since they, since they don't sweat so they get themselves really muddy to stay cool all the time protect themselves from the sun and then when they're all muddy they like to scrape it off and uh I, this is the first time me seeing this and i was just down here last week so bam look at that it is just caked on mud all on this tree and get this it's on this tree too so that kind of makes me think there is a hog wide enough to fit through that now that is about a two foot gap wide now that is absolutely insane y'all look it's right there it's like he got right between it and just rubbed it look you can even see the mud all right here that is stupid and look the trail comes back here look mud mud come back here a little further looks like they did that and ripped that all the shreds and look at this another rub spot oh my gosh absolutely insane see now that's what hogs will do i even heard of uh linemen being out there and they'll find a pole that hog's been rubbing on and it's like rubbed down to the core. It is insane the damage these hogs do. Now, luckily, you know, we live out here on land. We don't have any cattle on this property, but you know, they're not doing any damage. They're just destroying the land, which this land is fine. We're gonna take them out eventually anyway. No biggie there. But if they keep rubbing on trees like that, eventually you'll see those trees start to die because those trees aren't garden bark and they're rubbing that tree down to the core and it just gets too much. That's just crazy, 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 crazy. Pretty cool though. I just wanted to show you all that on my way back. I just thought y'all, you know, maybe the viewers would like to see something like that. But yeah, can you imagine a hog that wide? That's it's two foot wide. It's a pretty big gap. <laughs> and he just coming through and just rubbing right there on back and forth between those two trees. <sighs> Sheesh, I do not want to mess with that thing. I'll just put a bullet between his eyes or deflate his lungs for him, but I ain't gonna pet him. Nah, -uh. ain't no house pet. That's damn.